Hi, today I'm going to show you how to make our modern Y necklace. This necklace is a great layering piece to add to your collection. Let's take a look at all the products and tools we'll need to make it. For this project, I'm going to be using the size 11 Dusty Cornflower Inside Color Line Delica Beads. I have this 26 millimeter gold plated base metal Delica frame. I have a 14 millimeter gold filled round wire circle component. I have two millimeter gold thin oval cable chain. I have a two inch 24 gauge um, gold head pin. And then I've got three four millimeter 21 gauge gold open jump rings. For my tools today, I will just be using some chain nose pliers. I have some round nose pliers, some wire cutters, and I have a tape measure. You can find links to all these beads and supplies in the description below. So let's get started. Okay, so to begin your project here, I went ahead and I cut two pieces of chain. I have one piece that's a continuous piece that's 28 inches long, and that will form the back of your necklace, and we'll connect it to this circle component. And then I have a smaller section that's only three inches long, and that will hang off of the circle component and we'll be wire wrapping our bead frame to it. So to begin, I'm going to pick up a jump ring with my chain nose pliers, and I'm just gonna open the jump ring by pulling one side towards me and one side away from me. Then I'm gonna pick up one end of the 28 inch length of chain that we've already cut, and I'm just gonna go through the last link on this chain. So you can see there, I went through that last link, and then before you close your jump ring, you go ahead and put on your circle component too, and then you go ahead and close the jump ring in the same fashion as you opened it, bringing the both sides together. So now you've got one side of the 28 inch chain attached to your component. So I'm just gonna do the exact same thing on the other side, opening the jump ring, pulling one side towards you, one side away. I'm gonna put this on the other end of the 28 inch length of chain, going through that last um, link there. Then you go through your circle component and then you just close your jump ring. And so this makes the back part of your necklace, and this is wide enough that it can just slip over your head. So it's really cute in that way. And now I'm going to make the bottom part of my necklace here where I'm going to attach this piece of chain to the circle component to hang off the bottom, and then we'll make this beaded component. So I'm just gonna open my last jump ring here. Same fashion as I did all the others. I'm gonna just open one side by pushing it close to you and pushing it away. Go through the last link on the three inch piece of chain here. So going through that last link, and then I just pick up the circle component and I go through it too, and then I close the jump ring. All right, so there. So I've got that done here. Now I am ready to make my little bead frame with my Delica beads. And these bead frames are really pretty cool. There's a little tiny hole on each end of them. So what you do is you can slide a head pin through there and then the beads just sit inside this frame. So to do that, I went ahead and I've got a two inch head pin that I've already went ahead and straightened with my fingers, just running it through my fingers a couple times. So you go through one end of the bead frame And then you're gonna pick up a bunch of Delicas here. <laughs> Let's get a little pile here started. And this bead frame can take 18 Delicas. So why it's in the frame here, but you haven't gone out the other side, you're gonna pick up 18 Delicas. So just go ahead and slide them on there. See, I'll kind of show you. So see, they just, they'll sit down in that little frame there. So we just keep going, because I think I only have 11 in there. Okay, so I think that that is 18. Okay, so I've got them all in here in this little um, component. So now what you do pretty carefully is you slide it down just enough so that you can get the top 
to come into that other hole. Oops, and I lost one of them. Which that can happen. <laughs> So I'm just going to kind of hold my finger over it to kind of keep my beads in there, but I'm going to bring it down just enough so my beads don't fall off, but that it slides into the channel. So I just kind of, it was hard to see because I was putting my hand on there, but you have to hold your beads down. And so you just like, you pull your head pin down until it passes this little um, edge and then it pops into the channel and then you can pop it up through that hole. So see, so now I've got all my beads on there and now I just make a little wire wrapped loop on the top of this and I'm gonna connect it to the bottom of my chain here. So I'm just gonna clear my little, a little spot out here, a little housekeeping. And I'm just gonna make a tiny little wire wrapped loop. So to do that, you grab right at the top of your um, bead frame on your wire there, you make a 90 degree bend going to grab your round nose pliers and putting it right in where the bend is at. And I'm making a pretty small little loop just because this is a pretty delicate necklace. So I don't want a big chunky loop on there. And then you're just going to roll it back over the pliers, rotate your pliers and continue to turn it until you get a nice little loop there. And take that and you're going to go through the last link on the three inch piece of chain that's hanging off the circle component. You bring that in the loop and then you're ready to wrap it. So just grabbing the loop, make, taking care not to um, grab your chain as you're um, holding that because you will break your chain. And that, now I'm just going to wrap it around and it'll be about three times. I want it to be nice and pretty snug there. Ah, oh, yeah, it's nice and snug. Take your wire cutters. You're going to cut off that tail. And then you'll take um, your chain nose and just tuck in any tail that you might have there that needs to be tucked in. And there, you have this really cute little Y necklace that is a really great like layering piece that you could layer with lots of other pieces or just wear it by itself. It's a super cute necklace, really easy to make, and you can make this in a bunch of different colors. You can find all the products and tools for this inspiration design at fusionbeads.com.